Hi guys! Um, so recently I've been thinking about starting to do some vlogging, just giving you guys updates on my life. Um, and this will actually be my first vlog and it's going to be super depressing. <laughs> so I picked the perfect topic for my first vlog. Um, I just recently got in a car accident. I actually got in a car accident two days ago. I was okay. It was pretty um, bad actually. Um, I was driving home from work and um, I lost control of the vehicle and I hopped the curb like there's the, there was the median and I jumped the curb by accident because I hit it and there were some trees in the median and my car hit a tree and like my car ricocheted off the tree and it actually like flipped over and I landed upside down and they had to like cut me out of the car and everything so it ended up being pretty bad but the funny thing is it actually all happened in front of an, uh, an ambulance and two cop cars so um, everybody that I needed was like right there like waiting to help me and uh, from their viewpoint they said that the the accident was like really really bad they had to put me on a backboard they put the neck brace on me they had to rush me to the emergency room I ended up being okay um, just a couple bumps and bruises here and there but really nothing serious they said that I was actually really lucky because the car ended up it's totaled like you'll see when I show you the pictures it's <laughs> that's probably the thing I'm most upset about in the world right now is my car but you know, they, you know, a car's a car, a car can be replaced, but, like, people can't be, so it's, like, I shouldn't be as upset as I am, but I am upset, so, but anyway, whatever. So, these are pictures of my car, I'm actually showing you guys on my iPad, um, it's pretty bad, um, the adjuster's going to see it on Friday, but it's an older car, so it's gonna, obviously, it's just a total loss, like, there's no point in even repairing it, because the repairs would be thousands and thousands of dollars, and that's just way more than the price of the car itself, so it's, like, it's just, this was my baby, like, this car was my baby. See, those are the, uh, the airbags that deployed, but yeah. So I'm just glad I'm okay. Um, let this be a lesson to everybody. Drive safe. You know, don't drive when you're tired. Be aware of your surroundings kind of thing. But they were telling me for me to just come out with a couple bumps and bruises. Like, I was really, really lucky. So, you know, thank God for that at least. Like, it, everything could have ended up a lot worse. They actually took me to the emergency room because, like, when they first got to the car and they, they like, popped open the window to get to me, they said that, like, my head was resting on the roof of the car, and, like, they they were scared, they were, like, really scared that I had some sort of, like, neck injury, which could have been really, really serious. So, yeah, but everything got checked out, went to the emergency room, doctor checked my spine, checked my neck, um, really, just a little soreness from where the seatbelt was. I have some bruising on my arms from where the airbags hit, but that's pretty much it. So, um, we were actually going out to eat tonight, um... Me and my boyfriend are going to go grab some food and some drinks with some friends. Random makeup tip. Always use a brush, like a dense flat top brush like this, to apply your foundation on. Because you want to buff the foundation into your skin. That gives you a little bit more sheer coverage. And it looks definitely more natural and less cakey. Sometimes when you put it on with your fingers or if you use one of those foam pads, you get too thick of a layer on your skin and it just looks cakey. And you want to, when you put on makeup, you want to make it look natural. You don't want to make it look like you have makeup on. You want it to look like you're accentuating the natural beauty of your skin. Okay guys, so um, Sephora just opened up at the mall next to my house. Oh my god, I'm so excited because it's the only Sephora in town. Before we used to have like a Sephora at like JCPenney's department store or something. Like it was a little kiosk, that was it. It's like an actual Sephora store. I'm so freaking excited. And um, I went to the grand opening and they were giving away like these like little makeup bags. And I've been using it for like all of my lipsticks and stuff. So... Yeah, just let you know. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh geez. I just got home from going out to eat with my boyfriend and apparently I 
sat on the remote control and it scared the crap out of me. Sorry, the bejesus out of me. Um, had dinner with my boyfriend. It was fun. We had some drinks with some of his friends and stuff like that. They ended up going to um, a bar because I think the NBA playoffs are going off right going on right now. So I didn't really feel like going, so I told him to just drop me off. But I'm probably just going to be cleaning for the rest of the night. Nothing really exciting. I just wanted to come on and say goodnight to you guys. Hope you liked my first vlog, even though it was kind of depressing, but kind of exciting at the same time. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Good night. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, friends.